personally, any kit that features black as a secondary color has to be the best kit. Look, I really like this kit. I'm a sucker for yellow and black kits. I've got many in my collection, but when it comes to a Chelsea shirt, I think this is perfect. Although it may not be the best shirt in London, we have seen some contenders at Arsenal, even at Spurs. And um, this, this is definitely, definitely on the list for me. I love every little detail in this. Chelsea has featured many yellow shirts in, over time. I think the last one was 2018. And this one is heavily inspired by the 70s, but more so 1983. The kit itself is elegant, it's beautiful. There's only a few little downfalls. And of course, it really depends on what shirt you're buying. Nike is now offering, alongside many other manufacturers, a player and a fan spec. If you're gonna spend your money, spend it wisely, spend it with what you want. There's no need to rush into a shirt. There's gonna be a lot available. And I think when it comes to Nike shirts this season, I've really enjoyed looking at the difference between the dry fit for fans and a dry fit advance, of course, which is similar, if not more so, to the player spec. Now this one here, comparing it to the dry fit advance, which is a player spec, there's a lot more detail in that. On my shirt, the one I've got today, it is the fan spec, and there's a few little smaller details that I think would have been added to that one. And I'm gonna try and compare it in the screen right now as I talk, but I think the detailing within the yellow, the fabric usage, and of course the technology in dry fit advance does give a shirt like this a lot more detail. We will see that, you know, go out through the next couple of seasons. And I have been reading online that Nike and Adidas and many other manufacturers are slowly trying to, you know, upgrade their sort of kits to fans. And I think the prices will definitely increase. We have seen shirts go from $100 to $170. I think this is just manufacturers trying to offer more in their shirts. And don't get confused with the shirts. I think when it comes to the difference, there's a lot there. If you're gonna wait for the shirt till the end of the season, you're definitely going to get some savings and you know spend a little bit more on the shirt that you want. But of course, you will get that for the probably the price of the fan one is offered at the start. But a shirt like this, no matter which one you choose, I think it's perfect. Black and yellow, you can't go wrong. Chelsea is hot property. If I was to get this shirt and have a name set, I think this would suit Lukaku or Havertz. But it's a great shirt. There's nothing wrong that I could say about the design from the Nike aspect. The only thing I dislike about it is the two massive labels added onto the shirt by the sponsorships. Now, three, when it was first added onto the kit, a lot of Chelsea fans were complaining about it, and even me as a neutral, I wasn't a fan of the design element. But the fact that the Holy Trinity has gone for this united color, the black and yellow scheme, really makes this shirt work. And I think if you look at this, if this was a shirt design in the 2010 sort of era, I think the badge would have kept its traditional blue, white, and yellow theme. And I think that would have really thrown off the shirt. But I do enjoy it and I do like it. Going back to that mention of the two sponsorships that are massive slap-on sort of badges, I'll show you in a few little details right now on the screen. As you can see, the Hyundai here is just a massive, just vinyl piece that is added to the shirt. And I think irritation isn't even the start. And with that being said, I think the only change I would have done to this shirt is have those two pieces sublimated within the shirt. I think that would have made the kit a lot better. Having this on here is definitely gonna be a bit of an issue with years to come. I think washing it is going to be a bit of a dilemma for a lot of Chelsea fans. But then again, it is a shirt and I think it's great. And if you are wearing this, in any sort of fiber side, this is definitely gonna be one of the best on the pitch. Now, a lot of Chelsea shirts this season will have this nice little detail with a neckline. It's the pride of London. Really love the detailing of this. I think the sort of plasticky vinyl to this edition is something that I wish I saw in badges with Nike. Again, in all my episodes, I will say this, I'm really disappointed in their badge designs. I think they've really let it down. I do see other sort of smaller clubs around the world have better designs for the smaller portfolio teams than what the higher grade portfolio teams in the Nike, you know, higher grade teams do have. Today's shirt is a four panel system design. I do like the quality in Nike shirts, whether it's a fan or the dry fit advance. 
The stitching in this one is great. I do like when they use the same color stitching for the panel systems. We do have here yellow stitches going across each panel. The neckline is really sturdy. I do like the collar on this one. It is great. And I do like the sort of detailing within the shirt. For a shirt that is so light, I do like how durable and dense this material is. Something that really annoys me in some designs when we see stripes or hoops is when the lines don't add up. But I think this one here is perfect. It's a great example of when design does meet in its final execution. We do see the internal lines from the shirt go overlapping on the shoulder blade, which continues on the black. I think if that had a bit of a misconnection, would have thrown a lot of fans off or anyone who's pretty particular about these smaller aspects. Overall, it's a great shirt. I think Chelsea, Nike, a great combination. Really excited to see what they will produce for future years to come. Of course, this shirt today is supplied to me by Ultra Football, massive supporters of this channel. If you're after this shirt or any other shirt that I talk about on this channel, please check them out in the description below. And I think I'm gonna try this shirt on right now. As always, Nike kits fit perfectly well. It's a medium on me today. As you can see, stretching out, I think this is probably one of the best fit shirts of the season. Now, while recording this episode, it came to me that I still need a Chelsea Sam Kerr shirt. So I think this is the best one for me. I'm definitely gonna get Sam Kerr on the back. Another little detail that I've noticed while wearing this shirt is that the placement of these two items here on the Holy Trinity is pretty high up, which allows the less irritational moments during game day or whatever five-a-side thing you do with this shirt. Chelsea fans, your home away and third shirts are beautiful. Let me know in the comments below what you think Nike has done for you this year. But as a rating for me, this is gonna be a bit of a different one. I'm gonna give this a five out of five. I think overall, as a shirt, it works perfectly well. As an away shirt, it does distinguish itself away from the home and the third. And I think Chelsea fans are going to adore this one. I'm hoping to see Lukaku have a great season in the league and I'm hoping to see Sam Kerr have a great season in her league. So I'm really excited for you Chelsea fans. Definitely check out this shirt and definitely let me know in the comments below if you do buy. I'd love to see this shirt on your socials. Well, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to follow me on all the socials, whether it be Spotify, Instagram, or YouTube. But as always, please stay safe. Stay away from stupid people and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you and goodbye.